Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create a table report from scratch in a report builder. So there are multiple ways we can start a report builder. One way to do it, we can go to the search and type report builder. So in that case, it will show us report builder 3.0 if we have installed it. Uh, I have a video how to install a report builder so you can watch that one and the other way to open the report builder is uh, you can go to the report manager and then uh, start from there so there is a report builder tab right here in the report manager so you can start from there or you can search and then uh, this way we did it you can start from there uh, now it is open in Microsoft SQL Server 2014 report builder so that's the uh, uh, report builder 3.0 and uh, it is going to take us right uh, here as you can see that uh, it's already a default uh, a blank report is open and uh, we have to just add title and all that and sometime you have getting start window when you open a report builder you can cancel that out and you will be right uh, here you do not have to do anything so once you cl close the getting start window you will be in this uh, area and the empty report is already there now from here we can go ahead and create our report first of all we would like to add a title and I'm going to call this one a sale report the second part you can go back to your SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and then you can select or write your query which one you would like to use so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and go to sales database and I'm gonna go to total sale table and uh, write the select query so I will right click select top thousand rows and I will uh, remove the fields or columns I do not need so I do not need ID and all that so I'm gonna remove that part and uh, also thousand uh, top thousand I don't want it and remove the database name as I'm using data source that's pointing to the sales database so I'm gonna remove this one and just get the query so once I get this query I will recommend going to the correct database and run this query at least one time so you would know that it works so instead of you take the query and put into the report builder it fails and you struggle with the error I recommend writing your queries with joins and everything and then run it in SSMS and then take it to the report builder now here first thing what we would like to do go to the data sources uh, right click add data source uh, and uh, now there are two options uh, one is a uh, use a shared uh, connection or a report model so in this case uh, we can uh, use that one and we can browse uh, and uh, can uh, select one of them from the report server so let's say if we click on the report server it's going to show us all those folders and one of the folder I have created is called a uh, data sources uh, in the data sources folder I have sales data source so any data sources you have created or deployed to the report server you can see from here and then use them you need the permission to use them so ask your DBS to provide you permission if you don't have it so once we have it uh, we can add that here in this case I added pretty much the same one twice but um, that doesn't really matter uh, we will be using only one now you can provide the name let's call this one the set sales and this will be used in our report if you would not like to use the data source from your report server you can create a new one and it will be embedded in your report once you click this one it will give you option so you can select the uh, connection type SQL server or SQL uh, server Azure or uh, Oracle and whatever you like or whatever the data source you have you can select that one and then hit build and provide the server name and database name and create your connection string in my case I'm going to use one one of the sales that is already deployed to the report server so I'm going to use that one and hit OK now from this arrow we can tell that okay it is pointing to some data source and it we know that it is pointing to the sales data source so we are fine with that and uh, if you see that if I open this uh, uh, back uh, and uh, the other uh, duplicate uh, data source is gone so this is the only data source left so that was pretty neat hit ok and now click on the right click on the data set add data set 
and here we are going to provide the name I'm going to call this one D set uh, sorry sales uh, if you remember or pay attention uh, let me see one thing I'm gonna cancel this I have called this one as a uh, well D set I should not call this one so I'm gonna call this one a DS sales instead of D set sales because it's data source so it okay right click add data set and let's call this one D set sales now use a shared data set if you have deployed the shared data source to the report server you can use that you can browse and use it I will create one video where we will use that shared data set shared data set is a data set that you can use in multiple reports so, so there could be queries or store procedure you feel that okay this will be used in pretty much a lot of reports so you can deploy them as a shared data set to your report server and then use wherever you need that so in my case I feel that this is a uh, this query what I'm going to use uh, this is uh, only specific for this report so I'm going to use this one as embedded in my report so select the data source and paste my query now another part we have here is called the query designer so if I click on query designer it is going to take us to the edit as a text so this is where we can run our query and see the records all come in correct and everything and if I will click on edit edit as text again so it's going to take me to the uh, another window before it will do it is asking okay if you will click uh, yes I will take you there but I will uh, uh, what I will do it will uh, kind of remove all this query so we will uh, we will not be able to use it the visual designer will discard the query so once it will discard the query we can't really use it so we have to come back here in the tables and select the columns and build our query so that's also the option you have it but if you have written your own query and uh, you would like to use it I recommend you do not need to come back from the edit as text so you can select your columns and uh, uh, then come to the edit as text and see that but uh, if you have written your query just paste the query and don't click on edit as text again because you don't want to uh, discard your uh, changes so we are gonna hit no and then hit ok because we want to use our own query so hit ok and then we can go ahead and hit ok again and uh, our data set is uh, ready now here we have different options uh, we can create different type of reports we can create chart report we can create table report uh, matrix uh, and di different types of uh, so go to the insert uh, once you go to insert uh, you have this uh, you know different options we have report uh, uh, sorry table here matrix here list chart gauge map and all you can right click uh, here in the surface design surface and then you have the same option you have text box line table and everything so I'm gonna select a table and let's move this one a little bit here now let's go ahead and uh, bring the fields drag and drop and uh, you can also select from here if you like let's say city state you can right click and add um, insert a column on the right and left whatever you like so let's say country comes here and the, if you take a region at the end it will automatically put that uh, column so now we can click here and uh, make it uh, uh, we have to go to home back and once we are in the home we can select and bold and uh, let's say we would like to have a uh, 12 size I would like to give some back color to these fonts so, so I'm gonna color sorry select this ones and provide the color so this is a color change the color of the line used to draw the borders so is this is for border sorry I was uh, totally uh, clicking somewhere else uh, so let's uh, click here and now we can change uh, we have a bold italic uh, underline and uh, let me see if I can change the color for the background here so this is for the border let's see what, what we have here okay so this is gonna fill the color for the background and uh, if we have fonts here so font color is right here if I would like to change to the green I can change that now we can go to the um, run and hit run
our report is ready and uh, one thing you notice that uh, the first name uh, and the salesperson first name is coming uh, in two rows uh, so it is divided we can go ahead and fix that one we have to give some more space to this uh, column and same thing with what we have to do to the uh, salesperson last name we can also go ahead and change it instead of salesperson maybe we would like to say last name only because it doesn't matter it is uh, a uh, sale report already we know that it is sale person so I'm gonna call this one first name and uh, this color is not really great color so go back and change the color let's say dark green uh, still works fine but I don't know uh, maybe here we can change the color for the background and uh, have this one as a, a black color so it, this will work better let's go ahead and run the report and now it looks pretty good but product name is not coming right you can go to design and then also change the width for this uh, column now we are all good we can leave from here and uh, if we don't want to save this report uh, to the report server or other option we have is to save this report to the report server so click on the save button or close button here and anything what you will do it will uh, ask us okay you want to save this report yes so let's hit save this time and now it is already connected to the report server so it will show us all those uh, folders so let's go to the SSRS training and once uh, we are in SSRS training folder we can give the name to this report I'm going to call this one uh, table report this was very basic report we created and hit save so once a report is saved the report builder will be still open so it is same right now my computer is slow it doesn't it's not that bad it's just uh, my computer today it's not behaving so if I go to the uh, report manager and SSRS training and then we can go to detail view and here we can do sort by uh, modified date so we will see we have created uh, or saved that report called table report let's go back here and it is still the uh, same it's just my computer there are a lot of programs probably running on uh, I have a lot of SQL server instances uh, installed just for the practices and uh, making videos so I might uh, just uh, stop few of the services this will give me some memory and CPU so if I will go back here refresh uh, let me go back to the home and then uh, go back to SSRS training uh, and uh, we should find a table report right here if I will go with the modified date uh, sort by modif modified date let's see if uh, that helps uh, so the last one is uh, a table report if, it, if I will click back one time you will see this report on the top uh, so well, with this one you can take a look by the data at least sort it so now I'll go to table report and we should see that report but we have deployed or saved to the report server now this looks really good report and uh, we can go to home and the last thing if we would like to exit from uh, this uh, report builder we can close from here or we can go to the radio button and say exit report builder so we can do any from anywhere Thanks very much for watching this video and I'm going to create uh, other videos uh, uh, from scratch uh, such as parameter video, um, how to create parameter uh, parameter in uh, um, a report builder uh, with, with the basic reports or matrix report or chart reports. Uh, so how to use parameters uh, uh, will be next topic. Uh, I'm going to create that video. Thanks very much and I will see you guys in the next video.